do my dance, jump in the stands, no man the man, I'll deal with the hands, thought it could guard me, I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on smash, put on the gas, I will not crash, honey y'all dash, 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 they slip on the team that they owe me, I need a ring and a trophy, I say I'm the best cause I am, it's noted and keeping it low key. Uh-huh. I can cough up the D like a turkey. I run straight through the D like a train. Uh-huh. This year we ain't taking no losses. Uh-huh. It's all about making the game. Uh-huh. I hear a lot of trash talk. Uh-huh. He call himself making a name. Uh-huh. I put on the jets. The coach regret even letting them stay in the game. Uh-huh. See my route took a tumble. tumble. Next time be humble. be humble. I'm the lion in the jungle. Uh-huh. You just try not to fumble. Uh-huh. Rumble, young man, rumble. rumble. Never slip nor stumble. Uh-huh. I take off, poof, magic. magic. Now watch me juke through the traffic. Uh-huh. Footwork fantastic. Uh-huh. Dominating every facet. Uh-huh. Treat the pocket like plastic. Uh-huh. Thanks, Coach. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport. As both teams made their way out of the tunnel, these folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 and starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. This fielded at the two. And an alley to run. He's at the 50, the 30, 10, touchdown, Cowboys. That kick return TD is 98 yards in length lucky as his one. guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week coming, in the right? opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can but keep it up for an entire tight. season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season game. with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Against the Chargers. Oh, last season. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Here we go. Here we go. Check, check. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. I got joystick. Only a couple for him joystick. there in the game's first joystick play. Joystick and, uh, and one other thing with... Who's well, on there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down, it's Drake. There we go, Drake. He'll have a first down past the 40. The 40, 30, 10, and he is in the end zone. Touchdown. And that's the second play of the game. Kenyon Drake, his fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Elliot Good with a PAT. <laughs> and we are tied Good, at seven. Because that was luck. So I'll leave it at you seven. Do it again now, then, you got go. This fielded at the two. And an alley to, and he's loose again. Get, get somebody get some speed. He's at the 40, 20, 10, 
touchdown, Dallas Cowboys. Alright. We need to stop fucking around up. now. Two kickoff returns for touchdowns. Because I think it's me. Game. This is me, you, walk, and we call a lot of games. It's me, you, and the Chiefs and Giants. It seems like we do it simultaneously, but we uh, rarely get place. to see this. So now the other you don't return that, teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. One of us will be in first place. In the end zone. Sorry. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost I, him about seven Frankie yards. Carson Wentz got uh, he's taken the down back uh, shy of the 20. Frankie. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. Give and just think second. of what it's I'm like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tackle and see what you did on the last track. drive. Perfect. When you scored points, it's a whole pocket. lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things. Out. Forced out to it. I, I definitely, I definitely threw it. Go okay. it. And he goes down. In that time for the sack, say hello to Chandler Jones. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Drake. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third Jarvis down. Jarvis Landry has X-Factor now. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Wentz to throw. Going deep here for Landry. And that'll wind up in I knew the accuracy Bold thing with Carson Wentz was going to come now it's fourth down. be trouble with me. But that like certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Fielded at the 43. Not today, son, not today. It's all right, though. Let's go now. And two stop. 54. Oh, I believe I can. First carry for James Conner. And some good Dude, running out of the, the game against the Falcons. I hit the stick. I believe it's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. One of his players, and he pumped so they'll come late in the game. First and 10 now from the fans. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Rush up the middle. Cheetah Bay Alouzie with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. On first and 10 is Connor. Kyle Van Noy like in two. on the stop. Three. When we see those runs to the perimeter, I, I, when we see those runs to the two edge, we think three. about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does you didn't correct me. I said two or three game. before you said three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's the second and seven. And he'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. Seven yards there at the first up. down. <laughs> when an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from. Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. They'll run on first down. It's Connor. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. It was Mike Hilton up to make the tackle. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster. It all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard games running the ball? If that's the case, I might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's Brian, is it? Cowboy touchdown. Zach Pascal, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. All right, though. 19-7. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is I'm only understanding the playbook. I'm not not just you should the know plays that. and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 oh. at the 24-yard line. I don't Already got the line, as a, this Philly offense set to go. As a returner. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go no, ahead and throw it, the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. 
They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Ah. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Here we go, here we go. Wentz now to throw. Cooper's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run and get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Wentz to throw on third and one. Sliding out of the pocket. I definitely Shelly's threw that, Mitch. Down. They sack him back right around the 44. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and ten. On first and ten, Eason. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Back to throw. Eason got his man complete over the middle. It's Lamb. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. Here we go. 70, Indy. 80 weapons. Shoot. Off play action. Eason. Blitz coming, and down he goes. The sack by Robert Quinn. That's a pretty darn good start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener, adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. He was able to pick up six yards there, so that leaves him with a third and 13. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. He Let's wasn't go, the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially given 15, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive, and with this deficit, 
You can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. No, All right, Craig, don't right here. spin the, the freaking wrong way. Exist, he doesn't even exist. He's, he's, he's not a team anymore. I just cut him. <laughs> like, if I did spin the wrong so way, I would be gone. And create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. That punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, if something got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now, a deep throw <gasps> there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Cooper. Intended that time for Cooper, and it's third down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And a very good return as he takes us all the way up to the 35-yard line. Not that time for Watkins. A CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big pickup of 38. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Now on first down, Drake again. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. <laughs> Throwing on second and three. Wentz flushed out right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now a draw play with Drake. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. So many things going to making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start. And then a nice tackle to finish things off. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Okay. <laughs> now this time, Wentz will throw. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And this is going to be intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. How are you a legal man downfield? Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. But you like the results of the play that they just ran, and they like to let them stand. Out bounds. You should have been out bounds. Here's Connor. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. On first down, Connor going to be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. 
Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Second and ten. Going to throw right side here, complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. I'm going to come back to you. Hey, Orbit. Let's go, let's go. Have we got Mike number 15? From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught by Seals Jones. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you What's up? What happened? I'm changing something. Huh. Zanashi, if you want back in, you can come back in if you want to. Rams cheat too much. Take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. I don't need to worry about the Rams. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Throwing his wins. Oh, and he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Chandler Jones able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Now Wentz on third down. So left side, it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Running, it's Drake. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. From the 16, Wentz, and this is caught, it's Cooper. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. On third and short, Drake. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half.
The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Wentz to throw for it on four. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Chandler Jones. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. Here we go, Ready, ready. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked by Kendall Fuller. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback and expected. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. Here we go on fourth down with Wentz. Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. On first down, Connor. And this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped short of the 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Yo, yo, faster. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. James Conner, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. For how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. 
He's going to look deep now for Landry. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off Byron Jones. He was looking for Landry that time. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. The drive will start with Connor. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Now a carry for the big fellow. This is Jameis Olawale. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Over the middle complete. That's Lamb. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get dead Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Ready, ready. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Off the play fake. Eason connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. And some space here. Pass the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. James Conner with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Goskowski with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Chandler Jones make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Watch the safety creep. They'll run with Drake. An eight-yard gain, so that gets him halfway there. Now they're left with a third and eight more. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck fifty now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game. And they reacted poorly on that one. And he connects with Ertz. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. 34 yards there and a first down. 
This has been a good drive so far. It's been a running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. Right back to him on first down. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Sunday, Sunday. To throw on second and six, Wentz, and he fires one incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They'll run. It's Drake. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Kenyon Drake with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's good, and it's now 35-14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Again, a run with Connor. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. On third down, Eason. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run for it with Connor. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Looking to throw. Eason. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. 
From the gun, Eason. He'll get that one complete to Connor. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Check 31, check 31. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Rush in, rush in. Get it. They'll run here with Connor. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Again, it'll be Connor. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big up. There he goes, Amari Cooper. The 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Amari Cooper. 77 yards and the Eagles get a score closer and correct me if I'm wrong that was just a simple fly route wasn't it no there's nothing to correct at all you've got it down pat and I just remember as a player when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers that meant fly route go uh oh look out <laughs> that was the nine and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown and they'll start in a hole here as he's brought down at the 11-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the left. Through an opening, and there he goes. He's at the 30. 10, and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. James Conner, 89 yards, and the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Boy, the action just coming fast and furious right now. If you got up to go get a drink from the fridge, you picked the wrong time. Two long touchdowns. Yeah, and that's how you answer a one-play drive with a one-play drive of your own, and you're exactly right. If you step away from the action, my dad took me to a major league baseball game when I was eight. I needed to go to the bathroom. Of course, while we're in the bathroom, grand slam home run. Well, it tends to happen that way, doesn't it? Yeah, my dad still hasn't forgiven me. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Now this one over the middle, into the hands of his tight end, complete. And all. 35. A big play there for Philly. 43 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They'll get it to Drake running left. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now Wentz. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jalen Smith in there to drop him, and that is the seventh time tonight that he has gone down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. He's got a man 
complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. Wentz now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. A handoff to the right side. It's Drake. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Amari Cooper with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense may be their Now the ball comes loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Often on fumbles, you look at a guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Wentz going to throw. And oh, look at that. A diving catch. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. On first down, Drake. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. On first and goal, Drake. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles get a score closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Or look like the Eagles got this back. Yes, Philadelphia football. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now. And the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wentz. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the integration. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. 
So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. To throw his wins. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. James Conner, 54 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out it.